Hello. Hadi. Where? Morika Boto. Salibona. Bella. Yo, what up, everybody? Welcome to JA. This is Jumbo Africa. We're representing Goma XD, Capital X, Capital D. We up in the building. I'm TK. I got DJ Mini up in the building. Miss Tintin up in the building. Come on, guys. Make some noise. Hey, hey, uh, Jumbo Africa. What's going on? We're live in the building. I'm a champion. In fact, we are champions. We stay winning. Yes, we do. Boom. It's nice and sweet like that. <laughs> and then we got a red hot show coming up as well. And other show comes coming up uh, in the next couple of weeks and stuff. So once you subscribe, once you log in, you certainly don't want to miss out on what we've got to offer. Today on the show, we are taking a look at uh, social media norms. Is the new normal allowing us to settle uh, personal issues on social media? We're also going to be looking at that clicks advent that caused major mayhem down in Mzanzi. Fine hair, cause hair, that's what we're talking about. And of course, Cardi B is back with a new yeah. hair. It's called WAP, Woo. you know, and she's got a line in there that Miss Tin Tin has been busted. Man, bust it for him. What have you said? I never liked Cardi B until now because she didn't say in that song, I don't cook, I don't clean, but I'll tell you how I got that ring. Yay, yeah, yay! Yeah. There we go. Bimba Zimoto is also in the country. We're going to be talking to her. She's dropping by the set. We can't wait for that. And we have for the men. A guy from uh, Men's Health, his name is Ben Ngobe, is going to be telling us about all those challenges that you sometimes have as a man and you can't really talk to somebody. So, hey, you might want to turn the volume down and make sure you get all those solutions coming up today, okay? Let's keep it moving. This is JA. Don't forget to subscribe. We're up in the building and we'll be right back. Cardi's my girl though. Like, I don't dance now. I make money moves. Hey, she would be making the money moves now. Also, just one last thing. Excuse me. We do want to talk about Mummy Diaries homeschooling because I think all of us are now are doing a lot of homeschooling. Yeah. The challenges that we faced, I faced a lot, but I'm coming through, man. This mama be rocking. She's Big coming. Time. Hello. Hello. Where? Yo, welcome back. This is JA Africa. We represent Sunshine Capital of the world coming through from H Town and we're speaking to the whole world. Okay, so a lot of things have been happening this week. And by the way, before we go any further, Miss Tinti is going to be looking at some of the best music vibe directors, music video directors in the country. Mm -hmm. And she's giving us her top three, so can't wait for that. But very quickly, Olin is back on social media again this week. Pulling in Stana as well on social media this week. <laughs> they should just have a reality show. This is what we want to talk about. We're not talking about the whole saga. I'm, you know, you can uh, have your own take and all that. What's the story? What's the take? Well, what's the angle with that? What, what happened? Uh, very quickly. I think it started off where uh, I think Stana asked Alinda for some money and Alinda gave the money and then Alinda came back on a, on a, a, a public platform to say, Kutizu and Dampa Mari. And Stana said, so, so what? You gave me money. You're the fool. Why did you give me the money? And you know what? Basically, he's saying, you need to leave me alone. Don't talk about me. I don't talk about you anymore. It's done. It's done. It's over. It's over. Mm -hmm. And it just kept rolling and spiraling. And of course, their numbers kept rising and people kept watching. But we're not talking about their story directly. Okay, what are we talking about today? Um, I don't know. Maybe is it a push? Is it because Tagapina and lockdown and everything became a social media? Everything was being done on social media. But this issue of what has become the norm now to talk about your personal issues. Now, people are going to say to me, yeah, but you're waiting to know what you're going to do on social media. I understand. For me, I put my what I experience and go through on my platforms because mine is in a bid to hopefully share right, my experiences. What did Olinda do or what happened? What, what angle were you? Because you were... You were you well, I don't want to talk about Olinda. No, it's not the issue. What did they say about the relationship that got you... Uh, it's not about that. I don't care what they do in their life duration. My issue here is saying, Kutijo, not just them, everybody in their spheres is beginning to do my personal issues on social media. When they're having issues within their relationship mm -hmm. or having issues when they're broken they up, take they take it to social media. So my take is, it's we can personally for me, when I first, okay, I'll go back to Linda. Initially for me, it was when she first started using the social media platform. For me, I honestly said as a woman to woman, this is a cry for help. You know, I remember, I think she was really hurt from the first time and she cried. I think we can all remember the first, first time yeah, we got to know her. And I was like, this is crying for help. I just said, hey, I'll try to get attention. And then I said, hold on. I think she's saying, I need some help as a woman. And then later, I began to see her style of doing it. And I thought, you know what? This girl is pretty smart. She's created, she's, she's created for me, understand, this is Miss Tintin's take. Olinda, big up yourself, mama. She has taken her own 
reality TV onto a platform where she's not paying expensive directed, she's not paying for a set, she's not paying for all this stuff, you know what I mean? But we're watching her live. And social media, I, I mean, a reality show is really about and she's done it on a platform and people are being gullible. She's getting the numbers, her business seems to be doing great, so good for her. But, but my consequences are no Buddha, Panyaya, Zotimuri too. Because like in this case, Stana was not amused by this. He didn't want to come on social media platform to discuss a social issue. He came back yeah. really fighting guns blazing. So it gets a bit tricky. But on the girl of Olinda, on the part of Olinda for me, I'm like, she's doing her own Kardashian without having yeah. the whole production yeah. and expenses word. to pay. Word, word. Well, the thing is, I think when she went out the first time <coughs> she was speaking about, I was quite intrigued by the numbers that she got. Oh. I it was three hours. And for me, there was a demonstration of how powerful social media mm. can actually get people engaged and locked down in real time when something is happening. You know, coming from a broadcasting background, those numbers are quite interesting. How do you hit that every time? Absolutely. Uh, for me, uh, number one, uh, hashtag bring back Titan. Uh, number two, hey! I believe. Yeah, and, and number two, I believe that every everybody should be ex, uh, should be friends with their exes. And the last one, uh, I will definitely, uh, you know, d uh, double up on saying that we need to monetize social media. If you've got numbers and you're a socialite or a celebrity, you've got to get paid for anything that you post. So that's a good, um, th that's a good uh, way to start. Okay. Only in the star, let's make some money. What to do? Man, we are JA Jumbo African Goma Capital X Capital D1. Words still to come. We're going to be advising what to drop in by the studio. We're going to be talking to Big Ben about men's health. And coming up next, we talk about that Kickstart Red. Stick around. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the button. Hello. Where? Morikawa I am not my hair. Hey. Actually, to the contrary, I am my hair. I'll oh. explain why. Hello, everybody. We're Hi. back. This is Ngoma XD. Word. Do subscribe. If you don't subscribe and tell your mama to tell your uncle, tell your auntie, tell everybody, subscribe because this is how we do it. It's urban culture from Zimbabwe to Africa to the world. We keep it real. Miss Tintin, the big dog TK, and of course, the champion who keeps winning with all of us, <laughs> DJ Monya. So, what was blazing again this week was the whole issue. Yeah, the clicks advert that yeah. triggered them to have a demonstration. Once again, big up yourself, my lemma man. He done put his foot in it and he just goes and runs with it. But listen, it went back to the uh, old age discussion. Oh, it's better to have natural hair. Why can't we just be black and be proud of ourselves? No, no, no. That's all very lovely to sound. And I want to say to you, if you're that girl who wants to go for natural, honey, go for it. Because you know why? It's easy for you to manage your natural hair. As a cosmetologist, understand this, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm going to flip the yeah, script here. Okay. We were, yeah, whether you're black, Is white, Caucasian, or? sorry, no, cosmology. cosmetology. No, cosmetology. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whether you are Caucasian, whether you are black, whether you are Asian, we all have either fine hair or coarse hair or just a medium style of hair. And it doesn't mean Kutijo, black hair is the, is, is the coarse hair, which is where they made that they went wrong from yeah. a professional aspect. Mm -hmm. I can understand because TK came and saying, these are so racist. Yeah, yeah. Hey, how yeah, could they be yeah. so racist? And I you can't use a, a, a before using African hair and then use the after using the other hair. I think that you would... Know, I think the message since there, especially in these days where Black Lives Matter, man, we, we bust something. And you did bust something. <laughs> a lot of people done bust something. <laughs> but let me, before we go into that, and I can understand that they were very insensitive. I think in the advertising, I think it's all known now. I think it was, you know... And I, they did apologize. They did and I think they, they said they're taking off the product for a while off the, off the market, mm -hmm. the Tresemme. Also note that Tresemme is very largely a, um, a, 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 a Caucasian product. You very find okay. very few black people who go and buy Tresemme so shampoo. Were, were you comfortable saying Caucasian and not white and saying black? Why I'm saying white because, it, oh, oh, that's another one. Let's, yeah, we'll, yeah. Yeah. Now black, Let's get back to the hair thing, black, white, but I'm going to speak correctly so that we all understand. Mm -hmm. Listen, where, it doesn't matter what ethnicity you have coarse hair is very difficult to manage as much as I for example would love to just use my own natural hair I wear a lot of wigs I do a lot of extensions because my natural hair is very difficult and I don't want locks and my hair is my crowning beauty so understand that when it comes to texture of hair, it's not because all of us don't want to stand and say, oh, I'm proudly black and I'm a black woman, no, no. But it's not manageable. It's easier for me to process it 
so that I'm able to get on being a full-time mom. I, in the morning, it's easy to come, tie up. If it's a weave or a wig, I'm putting on, it's easy to, and we get going. Uh, and we could, get. Could it be maybe you're conditioned that way to look at your own black natural hair as being laborious, as being having a lot of work to do? I have just said, it's not conditioned. I live that life. It's my hair. I don't need to be conditioned to know what I come up with around. Hey, kubata kum kud. Oh, you know, I think you know because okay, the Caucasians themselves they got a shampoo. No, but they yes, but they all all listen. Not only white people shampoo. Everybody, you need to be shampooing your hair once a week. But it puts in some time and some labor. It's not easy to get that hair. So why is it that we shun this one and go for that one? Because it's easier and it's, it's quicker for me to go what you're calling that one, which is the processed hair, which is the relaxed hair, or putting the extensions or putting the weaves in. Mm-hmm. Which is why you, you, you used to have locks. I don't know how long they grew. At what point did they, how long did they grow? Uh, Below the shoulders. They are somewhere there. Do you remember the management of your locks compared to what you're doing now? Well, this, you get up and go. It's no. Exactly. Excuse me? <laughs> it's on the other. What was what? easy? The locks oh, are okay. easy. Oh, God. Uh, no, okay, what's more easier than the other? I think they're all the same. Oh, TK. Ooh. Okay, so here's, I'm going to throw this one to you guys. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to say what's up uh, to the big corporates that can actually apologize when they're wrong. Absolutely. Which is something that you by, don't want to... By gonna, pressure, by yeah, pressure. I'm going to just apologize if you're wrong. They have apologized though one day. No, That's the thing. We, I don't think so. We had to twist the arm. Second one, uh, it's still got to do with hair, and I was told that I can actually speak to them, but uh, the judges still wear the white wigs. Um... When I look at my white wigs. Oh, you mean in, in our court system? Yeah. The, the, the Dutch, because we still follow the Dutch laws. Yeah. Isn't it? And they have the whole garb. So I was curious because I really wanted to sit down with the judges and also just get uh, an understanding of what, what that culture means for them white hair and uh, the justice system. So What would you like them, if, if, all right, since you are the conditioned one, would you then like our justice system? And our chief justices to have the same wigs with black hair? Is that what you're saying? You don't, uh, you, you don't like the white? Or is it the whole wig thing you don't like? I, I would like to understand it from their, from their, from their position. Go figure, Nimbe. All right. Yes. Let me give you, man. Thank you. I got my girl Siri here and Google. This is Rigo. Uh, like many uniforms, wigs are an emblem of anonymity and attempts to distance the wearer from personal involvement and a way of visually draw, drawing the supremacy of the law, says Newton. Now, wings, uh, wigs that the ones they wear mm-hmm. are so much part of the British uh, criminal courts, mm-hmm. and that is uh, a, a barrister. That if a barrister doesn't wear a wig, it seems as an insult to the court. I think your question still holds. Yo, this is J.A. after all the <laughs> coming. is dropping by. We'll get my man Big Ben. He's going to be talking about various problems that men face from pre-mature uh, ejaculation to where as well as erectile dysfunctional. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Erectile dysfunction, yeah, yes. yes. Erection. About that, about that Every relationship needs to go. You Before when you introduced, you said that men, women too, I'm urging they you, when we do, no we don't, but because we have partner, we have, we're a partnership. <laughs> <laughs> you know, working with men like this, honestly. But the point is, listen, for the ne- when we do that, I think it's going to be the next link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Call your partner, wherever they are, call them, tell them right now to tune in or log in and then, you know, subscribe, subscribe to Ngoma XD. It's important in a relationship, there are two people, him and her. So you may be having as a him the problem, but it's actually your partner needs to understand what the problem is. So both of you need to watch this. Hello. Where? Bella. Welcome back, J.A. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and do follow us at Ngoma XD. Big shout out to Codico Productions, man. They're doing fantastic. Yes. The guys that are handling us. Absolutely. Yeah. You yeah. were. Yeah. You were. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also, shout out to MediaNet. Thank you for letting us use your studios there. All right. So, we've included something on lifestyle and we wanted to do different things that have to do with health, food, and different things that can really just help you in your lifestyle. So, this morning, we did promise you or this afternoon, wherever you're watching us from, we got a special guest coming through from Medicine. Men's Health Zimbabwe Clinic or Men's Clinic Health Men's Health Clinic Zimbabwe. I beg your pardon. And uh, please let's let, help me welcome Mr. Ben. Hey, how are you? How are you doing, my brother? Great, great. Thank you so much for having you me. You must have a very interesting job there doing what you do. It, it is interesting. Uh, more than anything, it's rewarding, mm. actually, getting to help people. Cool. You know what? I'm going to be a gentleman and let the, go, the ladies go first. Is that what you're teaching at Men's Health? Of course. Ladies first. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know Ben from way back from formation on ZFM Siri when I was doing that. And I just want to say, Ben, before I talk, I want to say thank you. After we had the series on the show, 
my sexual relationship with my partner didn't go up just a notch. It went up six million notches, you know. Oh, wow. Because a lot of things that happen in a relationship, we always, as women, we blame the guy. For example, nyaye pre-ejaculation. All right, girls, right now, I can see you, I can feel you. How many of us, how many of us women have had the experience where the guy, even asati, a penetrator, you're just feeling he's, it's wet and it's gooey, or I'm in fact, well, I in fact, well, I would, that's what I'm, no. so I'm just doing. Well, obviously, but in, obviously, well, maybe there is a condom. I, for me, it's neither here nor there. For me, a, I was talking about way. my relationship with my partner. Why would I condomize when I, firstly we're trying to have a baby? Now oh, I've got wow. two. But anyway, anyway, my point is the whole foreplay part of it. So I don't know if you foreplay with a condom. I don't know how he does it. Anyway, the whole foreplay part of it, and then you know you're trying to get there, and he's just. He's wet and he was gooey and I'm thinking, he's done nothing and he's come already. That's pre-ejaculation, is that? Uh, why don't we come back and take it back and then ask the expert we've got him here. Thank you very much. This is my aunt, you guys, and I have to put up with this and hearing all <laughs> It's a new session. So, Ben, welcome. Uh, again, representing uh, Z, uh, Men's Health Clinic Zimbabwe. Let me go straight into it. What is premature ejaculation? That's what I asked. I, I just said, well, is, uh, that, is that what pre-ejaculation is, well, when he's all sticky so and no, gooey? No, I think what you're describing right. is very dif different from uh, premature ejaculation. Oh, okay. Because um, premature ejaculation, on a medical perspective, is ejaculation under two minutes of vaginal penetration. So before penetration, whatever you see cannot really qualify. So as chi, 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 eh. it, it's what you guys call pre-cum. It's your body's natural response to arousal. So when your um, gentleman friend is aroused, that is what comes out and it is a natural response to preparation, to intercourse, to make sure that everything is lubricated. I dare say women also experience the same, except we do not see, <laughs> we, do, we do not see those no, okay. secretions, but I okay. think women when they are aroused as well, they do experience that. Very true. Yes. Very true. Yes. Right, let's go straight into what are the causes of premature ejaculation? And does um, it happen in particular age groups and particular uh, sectors of uh, the men's society? Well, uh, the causes for premature ejaculation, I, I actually got, forgot to mention that uh, for you to understand it better, there are two types of uh, premature ejaculation. There's primary premature ejaculation and secondary or acquired. So when we're saying it's primary, it's a, a gentleman like me who's, who's never had satisfactory intercourse and the first time you try sex, boom, two minutes, it's done. That's primary, you've always had it. And then there's acquired, which is, more, which I know you've got questions. And then there's <laughs> secondary, which is, uh, which we also call acquired. It's more common where you've had everything going on and then suddenly one, one evening, boom, no, uh, you know, premature ejaculation. So to respond to your question on the causes of premature ejaculation, they are predominantly psychological, uh, where we are saying 98% of the time when you're facing premature ejaculation, it's in the mind. And um, would you like to ask uh, a, minute, a minute question before I break down the, diff the common psychological? Yeah, ones? you all are being so technical. So explain what this is. I want to talk, we want to talk about experience and real life things, okay? Right. Because everything else I can Google and get it. What is ejaculation? Mm -hmm. So I'm having sex. You've told us now. Listen, learn. The, it's, it's, it's lubrication. Yes. Pepe, when he gets all gooey and wet before. Natural that most lubrication. Of us are thinking, that's what we were calling pre-ejaculation. So when he then says, when we have the sex and he comes early and then he says, ah, it's not my fault because I know I was thinking about you so much, Tintin, I know, so I go, but second round, we are second round. Like, what? Is, is that then pre-ejaculation? That is what we call. So in other words, in order to hide behind, gentlemen, uh, you know, I've been thinking about you for so long and I, I couldn't hold myself. That's actually pre-ejaculation. Because it affects relationships. Is that pre-ejaculation? Is uh, that what it is then? Yeah, it is. Okay. When the first round is, is, is short, um, there's a bit of conflict there because there's a certain school of gentlemen who feel like, no, the first round doesn't count. So the first mm, round can be two mm. minutes and then the second one is a bit long. So there's, a, That's nonsense. there's, there's, there's lots of is discussion that like, on that. Yeah. But as far as the clinic is concerned, the first round is supposed to be a proper round. Thank you. It's I like the men's clinic. No yes. <laughs> no no standard, standard, no standard, standard. For one individual. 
Munyaru ngo ti aiwa. Ah, but tell me something for people that are going through this. How do you fix it? How is it diagnosed and how do you what, what, what solutions do you have as men's health clinic? Um the solutions are threefold. There is psychological therapy. We are appreciating that most times when you've got premature ejaculation it's in the mind. So psychological therapy will be helping you to uh, allay some some of the fears which you might have as a gentleman and trying to iron that out and then there's behavioral therapy i think on tintin's show we spoke about the start stop method and then the stop stop i i mean uh, i feel like we've, we've rushed through yeah. and and yeah are we, are we doing this prematurely <laughs> we are, this is very <laughs> extremely prematurely because for you to understand these methods like the start stop and so forth you actually need to un- understand most of the triggers of premature ejaculation which i think are really important for the show so i'd like to take you back a little bit right, and and talk about the triggers one of the most common uh, triggers is inherited traits right. now for the gentlemen who are listening um if you allow me there is a concept here kuti kuchaga base when you are young you've just found a girl you don't have a house of your own yeah. so what mm-hmm. are you going to do you are going to find somewhere where you can have intercourse and it has to be quick before you get caught but every time you do that your body is taking notes it's like okay so sex is supposed to be 2 minutes before so we get like, caught yeah. so Five years down the line, you've got your girlfriend, you've got your apartment, one you've got, you know, one base record permanent. But any time you engage in intercourse, your body is saying, two minutes, <laughs> <laughs> two minutes. So that's one of the common, uh, leading common uh, causes of, of premature ejaculation, the inherited traits. And then there are feelings of guilt. We get gentlemen who come through and say, you know what, there's a problem. They are honest and they'll say, no, I've got my wife and I've got a girlfriend on the side. When I'm with my wife, everything is perfect sexually. But when I go uh, outside, I do not ejaculate like it's premature. It, uh, my wife has bewitched me, you know. Right. Yeah, that is a common concept. So it's not bewitchment. No, 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 no. It's called guilt. It is called guilt because your mind is telling you that you are not supposed to be doing this. Eating the forbidden food. Because you are not supposed to be doing it, you are supposed to get done with it quickly. So that's yet another. And then the third and most common is performance anxiety. Suppose you um, struggle with, with, with your ejaculation once, tomorrow you're going to be reluctant to say, okay, uh, it's going to happen. You know, and you don't want to attempt and the problem leads to the problem. So these are the, the holy grail, as we call it at the clinic, the holy grail of the biggest pr- problems and, and causes to premature ejaculation. Right, I like that. DJ Munyasi, you've joined us as a super sub. Uh, no, no, it's a, it's a topic that's very close to my heart. I believe that, uh, like you're saying, you know, you always got to put the woman first. Um, I think, uh, you know, foreplay is important. Uh, you can make her orgasm or climax, climax with the tongue, uh, your fingers. And then, obviously, uh, the first uh, the first round, as they say, I always say is for the ladies. Uh, you know, why is it around two minutes then? Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know why they make it two minutes, but uh, if you're dealing with me, it's already the tongue is done, number one, uh, the fingers number two, and then uh, first round will be number three. <laughs> Now, the thing, uh, Ben, what I wanted to find out, because I believe that sex is uh, it's, it's a mental game, So I believe that, uh, you know, when you're about to reach climax, there are certain parts like of your body that tense up. Like uh, mm. it's either your toes for the ladies, they curl up a little bit or uh, tense and then that's when you, uh, you climax. But if you actually control that kaku tense and then you untense, you actually stop the, the ejaculation. But that it's is- practice. Naked, naked. Is that the whole that's top and start method that he's trying to explain? Uh, no. When you are tensing up and all the kind of reactions that are happening, those are products of the ejaculation. They are consequences of you climaxing. So stopping the consequences doesn't actually reverse the actual climax itself. What do you do? So the start-stop uh, method, we are saying you are just about to ejaculate. You pull out. Now, understand, this is easier said than done, but over time when you... Pull out it, sucks. <laughs> pull out sucks, well, man. The, the it doesn't destroy everything. It the, it's it's the spanner in the wheel, the, man. The, the, the <laughs> it's a spanner, man. <laughs> wow, okay. Right. Huge opinions, of course. So the start and stop method, you pull out and then you focus on other things, foreplay, etc. So that more or less reduces the buildup 
that would otherwise cause you to ejaculate. That's a start and stop. And then there's the pause and squeeze, where you don't actually stop, you simply pause minute for a minute period of time and then you squeeze your reproductive you so if this was your reproductive organ this would be the head and then this would be the shaft you so squeeze? you're squeezing between the head and the shaft okay. you squeeze long enough uh, for about 20 seconds at the time you stop squeeze and stop until you feel the sensation of needing to ejaculate go away it works wonders but the problem is it's so difficult to actually stop to actually and it sucks Okay, I know TK, you want to round this up, but we've got so many questions. And of course, guys, please subscribe this platform. And we're across all platforms, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Word. Look for us in Goma XD. And on topics like this, if you've got questions, if you've got more, we'll link you through, you know, to your websites. And let's get the conversation going. If we don't talk about it, we won't get better. I've got a question. I always like to improve. And Ditika, as a woman, what role can I play in my relationship with my partner, which is Vakuti, especially with my generation, our, a lot of, unfortunately, not you, TK, a lot of okay. men that we're experiencing, because you're just like, oh, we don't do that. Um, <laughs> a lot of, uh, have been products of the, 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 the quick two minute, because the, the body was programmed, was Papasana based, so it was a quick girlfriend is dead, and, and, and you know, I'm 41 now, so a lot of our generation has the partners that were pre-programmed, is already, how can I as, a partner help my man who doesn't want to, who actually now is psychologically conditioned to, to pre ejaculation because it's our sex together. Bring a friend. Yes. Wow. Wow. I like that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Um. Okay. <laughs> Here's a disclaimer, but you know, it makes not the friend. Uh, to, to answer your question, I think two critical things there. The first is communication, and the second is um, foreplay. First, when it comes to communication, most couples don't really talk about intercourse. They don't. Yeah. If mm, they are talking mm. about it, it's when it's happening. Right. You know, do this. But they don't really talk about it. We like to see an environment where we normalize people having a conversation about sex. You make supper at home and you say, mm. you know what? Today we're going to talk about mm. intercourse. I like this. I don't like that. Mm. You know, and then he might tell you, this part of my body is extra sensitive. Yes. Can you not touch that part before we get to that part? Because if you touch that part before we get to that part, we are going to get to that part before we're supposed right. to get to that part. Yeah. Exactly. You're so right. Because when you're and, actually doing it, it gets too technical. Uh, yeah. Of course, foreplay. Um, you guys are in the media and you know how it is when there's a concert, there's always an opening act and it helps things DJ to build Munya up. DJ Nuggets, the, <laughs> the, the finger, it, the it toes. It always helps things to build up to the main act. So mm, think mm. of sex as the main act, but there's so many things involved before you get to the main act. Right. Things as simple as a massage, things as simple as talking could mm. be sexually arousing for certain individuals depending on what floats your boat. But that is an important concept when it comes to uh, intercourse and you helping your partner. Okay. And it, it just doesn't apply to you. It applies to him as well because okay. there are problems which affect women and would like men to be in tune to those issues. Absolutely. If he understands your body better, you'll be able to do what needs to be done. All right, good. We're yes. going to put a link so where you can find Men's Health Clinic in Zimbabwe with my man's Ben Mube so you can get all the help. But just rounding up, a lot of guys that might be going through this, they might not know where to find you. And I know from our discussion, you said this does a whole lot of negative to self-esteem for the guys. Uh, how do they correct all this? Um, there are three, three ways in which we can correct it. Uh, there is the psychological therapy, which I've spoken about. There is the behavioral therapy, things like the start stop, and then there is the actual medical treatment where you come to the clinic and we've got very reliable medical <laughs> solutions. <laughs> no, unfortunately, um, unfortunately for you, <laughs> all the treatment which is dispensed at the clinic has to be approved by the Medicines Control Authority of Zimbabwe and it is dispensed by qualified and trained medical <laughs> doctors. Yes, one last so, <laughs> question. Can you ask that one? <laughs> so um, you would be expecting that kind of treatment if you were to come to the clinic, not could you? Okay, one last one. Sorry. And I'm raising, I'm raising boys as well. And I want to be able to tell them, they must be, I'm now Tete. I'm mom, I'm Tete in the new generation that we're living in. You've got to fill in the gap, man. We can't be waiting for someone else or a school teacher to educate. Um, I want to say, taking, uh, su what do I call them? Supplements. Uh, sexual supplements. Yeah, now Viagra. What are the other ones called? Uh, Munya, what are the other ones called? Uh, Guju and uh, Viagra. So whether it's Viagra and them, which is the tablets, tablets, or whether it's natural, does that help with the pre-ejaculation at all? 
Because I, mean, I see others advertising, <laughs> you know. well, see, that's the well, problem. Well, We've got so many products which claim to do so much. It will cure cancer. It will give mm-hmm. you. It will give you this and that, but um, not approved. Not approved. Not the first approved, thing you right. want to do is to take something which is approved. So, as Ben, what do you say? As Ben, as Ben, um, I would recommend coming to the clinic <laughs> 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 because that's where we can give you something reliable, and we'll stand on it and say this is going to work. And this will provide. So, are you saying results. traditional stuff means this? As we should, what are you saying? Let's make it. Let's just get, get it out there. I am saying uh-huh. if you had to choose between Mizi and coming to the clinic, then you should come to the clinic. Okay. It, it's simple. Munya disagrees. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jumbo Africa. Uh, I know, like he said and she said, some of you feel a little bit uncomfortable talking about sex, and yet you've got all these problems going on. You need to just loosen up. And That's get right. Started, okay. So, to come, we've got three music video directors that are rated the best in Zimbabwe by Miss Tintin. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, follow us in Goma XD, capital X, capital D. One word. We'll be right back. Hello. We are. Okay, so, so th- that section where we look at mom's daddies and we go over to mommy's diaries. Mommy diaries. Uh, shout out to everybody who's homeschooling. When we began, you know, I only, I've heard about homeschooling for ages, but now because of lockdown mm-hmm. and all, we had to get into mode of let's make things. Are you homes? Do you, or how did you, TK with you? What, how, what well, style were you doing? It's, uh, it's a combination of both. The school that I go to is very reactive, very adaptive. So they switched on to homeschooling the minute, uh, 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 uh the lockdown mm-hmm. came through so they get their stuff via the internet but mm-hmm. we have to do most of the stuff but the interesting thing though is i've begun to teach my kids mm-hmm. about downloading curriculums about homeschooling so they've gone to the Khan website mm-hmm. and they're loving it um the, the same thing uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say this and then let you give us your your mm-hmm. nuggets on uh, homeschooling homeschooling is not just uh, the curriculum or going online it's uh, it's continuous from even when they're not at school i'll give you an example like uh, i've got four of them uh, my kings uh, two girls two boys but my kings so Holla. i buy sweets nigatinga my sweets are kind of twins and dry up at table and then because they are grade 1 grade 3 grade 4 don't you even get my sweets i'm not go about and then divide them amongst yourselves muri 3 and then they have to do calculations. That's mathematics. If I got a newspaper, mm. whatever it is, I give them the newspaper. Chibundivering it and I record them, mm. and then they listen to the mm. recordings. And mm. then if they improve it, but they, there are a lot of uh, ways I, I do that. So that's my homeschooling mm. together with um, online. I suppose it's a very versatile nature, you know, yeah. homeschool from cooking to whatever, whatever form of mm-hmm. yes. going on in the home. Yes. It is homeschooling, but it also has to be intentional. It has yes. to be intentional, and that is what I learned. Do experience young that I learned. Now my boy is still ECD. Okay, and I'm going to come talk on a Seguruna Google. So that they, they, what there is no platform for online. The school they wasn't doing is not yet doing was. So I had to literally learn, and this is for a lot of people. I had to learn to be to be a teacher. I'm telling you, the first two weeks, three weeks, when I decided to do, I'm going to do homeschooling, I was so intimidated, and I think many moms were very intimidated as well. But now I settled into a program. Yeah. Number one, and this is a pressure. I'll give you three tips that I'm learning with Yambuko, and it's working. Hey, I'm a champion, and I, I'm, I'm winning. <laughs> I'll tell you this now. Don't be bogged down, mommy, daddy. Don't be bogged down and so focused on the time frame. Eight o'clock, get it in, get it in. So, because you've got a lot of stuff happening around in your system. Fit into your schedule. So, Maxine, for example, talk now, Tanga, Tageza Mazino, Tatanga, and In brushing our teeth, we're already starting counting. 1 to 20, because we have to do 1 to 100 by end of the term. So, Taktanga 1 to 20, how many strokes is he brushing his teeth with? By the time we're eating porridge, you know, th- uh, Goldilocks and the three bears, the three plates, and this was cool and cold. The chair was hot. The chair was, was hard and soft. The bed was hard. He's learning textures. As I am cleaning the house, he's joining me. I store Ziza. Then, of course, there comes, the, then we take a break. And I've noticed the younger they are, you have to make it a, a shorter time to focus on. Yeah. So all I'm saying here, my f- I wanted to give you three. I'll give you one. Our time has run out. But I'll tell you now, the first one and the main one is don't be intimidated. Fit that into yeah. your schedule. Yeah. As you're working at home, my errands are called. Fit that. Call Nana. 
into the program put and put it program. and make him part. And I got to Ziza. Thank you very much. That's Miss Tintin, and that's a big solution because a lot of people are going through this. And I can tell you what, it's probably much cheaper than paying school fees. Absolutely. This is Jumbo Africa. We are going to XD. DJ Munya, I know you got some. Okay, I really got to get this in uh, real quick. Uh, thank you. It's just a shame that she gave us one. She wanted to give us three. But uh, uh, on, on brushing the teeth, mm. uh, I get them to use the other hand, the non dominant hand, mm. even when writing, just to get them out of the comfort zone as well. Mm. And just to access different parts of the. Uh, Dexterity the, comes in as well. Uh, it's learning. Hala. I'm a champion of Jump on XD, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Where? Morikawa, what's up? Bella. 